PVT would like to say hello to everyone. This is the afternoon news. Without Yang and Zaya Ozhan in the male and female leads, perhaps no one would be able to watch a full episode of the rest of your life. Some people say that the most suitable youth is watching romantic movies without burning the brain, not crying, just seeing the male and female leads from acquaintance to love. With the hit song Please Advise Me for a Lifetime, it is possible that the two actors have met the requirements of a public vote. Yanks's acting skills are really amazing, all kinds of facial expressions are very clear and do not make others uncomfortable, speaking in life is also good. Please give me lifelong advice. Very solid and very intelligent. The main character is not perfect, the supporting character also has its own characteristics. Strong and weak, in real life needs such a warm and healing drama. Objectively speaking, the plot adaptation of the first one or two episodes differs from the original, in that the two didn't know each other before her father was hospitalized. Perhaps the film wants to deepen the story of the two people's early love and create close friends. The only thing I feel is somewhat inappropriate is that Sia Oshan is a strict doctor, and knowing that Lin's Hexie has a stomach kick is not worth joking about. At first, I think this movie has been around for a long time and the plot is also old, but what is surprising is that the plot is simple and funny, the slow and gentle rhythm surpasses the standard. Secondly, I have always recognized Yanks' acting talent, I can say that the figure in the photo set looks great and the clothes are also more beautiful than her lover. Third, I used to think Zaya Oshan is handsome too, even though I don't watch his movies. Sometimes I think he's a traffic star and a little worried about him, it's amazing how skilled he is. His acting skills are superb. Zaya Oshan came to this transnational entertainment industry because he felt special. Versatile, talented and hardworking. His modesty, curiosity and serious study have been acknowledged by many. I've been watching Centimeters of Love on Pearl River TV for a while, in which Tong Do Yi plays a doctor, and last night I watched Live for the Rest of Your Life. He subconsciously compared Zaya Oshan and Tong Doi. He always felt that when the person she called first appeared, he would turn around and smile but there was no expression in his eyes. Looking at the video, he wondered if the female lead was knowledgeable about music. When the female lead replied that she was a student studying music, he didn't show any signs of recognition. Personally, I think a small expression like the one in the play is essential. Talented youth, youth need to be aggressive, not afraid of hardships. The audience not only admires him because of his good looks, but everyone loves him. In the showbiz world there are also too many handsome beauties. So it's not easy for one person to be successful in an industry. I have high expectations for Zaya Oshan's performance, as his performance last time surpassed my expectations, and this time was no exception. All are not the same, he is not lonely and arrogant, even a little childish. He is attracted by good looks, he will be happy, he will pay attention to his health, he will take care of his children, he also has self-esteem and work ethic and sense of responsibility. High responsibility will silently donate, will not let the patient be hospitalized because of the second visit, even though the patient's family may misunderstand him any hobbies, but he also has the characteristics of a normal person shy, evasive, and selfish. In short, Gu Wei is very three-dimensional, vivid and deep, and the character configuration of the four episodes is quite impressive. Gu Wei also exhibits some qualities that are only found in Zaya's hand. He is handsome and very manly, strong and quite stubborn. He does everything quickly and doesn't speak in a hurry. He will be influenced by life aspects and vibrations with great things. Just talking about the rest of his life is bad, but for Zaya Oshan's fans, they've been searching for the stars and sun for three years. The rest of their lives they expect the rest of my world. I've heard it from the beginning, but in the end it is very difficult to declare that Buddhism is no longer capable of becoming a Buddha. This movie is higher than our expectations, it is currently a light romantic comedy, Yang Zi plays naturally and gracefully, the character of Lam Chi Tu on his back. I want to compliment the rhythm of the movie, nothing was wasted, because they killed me. I am very touched by such education. Think of the phrase it's not a coincidence, but a novel, every story needs to have the word coincidence, otherwise the plot will not change, the story will not come out, it can only be a smooth life like water, just that good must also have a kernel.
the so-called literature that looks at the mountains but does not sit still. You can see Cao Cao's famous work The Storm, if viewed critically, all the overlaps will come together, but not it is very logical, because this is art, it should focus on resolving contradictions and conflicts, and play a role in both illustrating and reinforcing the subject matter. Honestly, without the male and female leads, the two episodes really wouldn't be watchable. But even if you watch it with the male and female leads, the plot will be unsatisfactory. I do not deny the acting ability of the male god, but the plot is difficult to understand. The interaction between the supporting roles and the interaction between the supporting character and the main character can make viewers feel like a drama. Full stop. Furthermore, I'm not anyone's black fan, nor am I a genuine black person. I hire professional black actors and voice their opinions on the show. The male and female lead of the play is not bad, acting without shame is just a skill, because even the male and female lead can't do it. Thank you all for watching PVT Express News, goodbye everyone.